हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल बी बिल्डिंग दिस पेक्सल एपीआई फोटो सर्च ऐप लेट मी जस्ट शो यू द डेमो ऑफ दिस एप्लीकेशन हियर यू विल एंटर द कीवर्ड दैट यू वांट टू सर्च फॉर फोटोज लेट मी एंटर फ्लावर एंड द नंबर ऑफ फोटोज 15 एंड इफ आई क्लिक द सर्च बटन यू विल सी दैट द एपीआई विल रिटर्न अ जेसन रिस्पांस टू मी एंड आई विल डिस्प्ले दीस फोटोग्राफ्स इनसाइड माय एंगुलर 9 एप्लीकेशन एंड आई कैन जस्ट चेंज दिस नंबर लेट्स लेट्स सपोज टू Uh, if i refresh the application you can even change the keyword to let's suppose programming and i change the photographs to five photographs so it will display these photographs to me in a you can see that inside my application so we will be building this application so let me start building this in angular 9 so this is my brand new project angular 9 and the website i am using is pexels so if you go to your uh, right here pexels here the very first links which comes is is this free for phot stock photographs and uh, you just need to enter their api so just after this you need to enter api and then the first first link which comes in click this link and you also want to create account for them after creating the account you will get your api key just click on request access and this is your api key so just copy this api key you, we will use it and uh, just click on the button read the documentation and here we will be using this link here and point and we want to provide our api key inside our authorization http header so we will be using this details here so first of all inside our angular 9 project go to the source folder inside the app we have this app.component.html so we will be manipulating this file here so here you can just give it a title of a pexel api uh, stock photo search and inside the body we will be giving a h1 heading let's suppose uh, pixel photo search app in angular 9 like this and we will be using some form here form element which is input type will be text so here we will be writing our search element whatever thing that you want to search so we will be attaching a ng model directive which is available in uh, angular so this will be equal to search and the placeholder i will also provide which is search photos like this dot 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 and i am using these ng model directive here for this we need to include a separate dependency inside our app.module.typescript file go to this file and include a module which is there inside uh, uh, from you can just write here from and this is there inside angular/forms and the name of the module is forms module so you need to inc include this forms module and also you need to declare it inside our import statement which is forms module like this and uh, after this you just need to have a button here simple button and once again i need to also have a input type of number so where we will be specifying how many photographs do you want from the api so i once again i will be attaching this ng model directive and this time this directive will be equal to the variable which will be per page so how many photographs do you want to display per page or i can just write here per page like this and after that we will be having a simple button which will be the label will be search and i will be giving a click attribute on click attribute so when we click this we will be executing a function which will be search photos search photos so this will the function we will execute inside our app.component.typescript file so th this is a file here we will write this function which is uh, search photos and inside this function guys first of all in order to make any kind of http request we need a service in angular 9 in order to generate a service just open the command line inside the folder and just write this command ng generate service and we will be creating a separate folder for the services which is services slash this is uh pixel photo like this the name of the service like this pixel photo and now you will see that it will generate a separate folder services inside our app folder so this will take some time 
so just bear with me so it will generate your service so just wait it is taking some time here and now you will see that it has created this services folder and inside this you will make your http call so inside this uh, this pexel photo type script file here we first of all need to include the http client module so for that you need to go to app.module.typescript once again and once again we need to import a module which will be there inside uh, at the rate angular common slash http and inside this we have a module which will be http client module so this is a module and uh, also you need to add this inside your uh, uh, imports array http client module and once again go to the service guys which is uh, pexel photo service typescript and once again we need to import and one other dependency which will be http client oh sorry this is client and this is from again this angular slash common slash http like this and now inside the constructor we just need to declare private http of type http client and now after that we need to make the function which will be actually be making a call to the api which will be get data like this so basically this will be a observable so we need to also import observables you can see that import observable from rxjs and just put these angular brackets like this and write any inside it and now basically we need to return from this so we will be using the this keyword to access our http it contains a get method inside it and now we just need to pass the url so here we will be making a constant url and here we will be copy pasting the address of the url so this is a url you can see that if i copy this paste its address here and uh, this is a whole address and now we just need to manipulate the dynamic parameters so this query will be equal to the query which is coming from the app.component.html file and here we just need to transfer the data which the user has entered inside our uh, app.component so so these two variables that we have initialized search and per page we need to declare this inside our app.component so search will be of type string we need to declare it this and per page will be of uh, like this per page will be of type number like this and now inside this uh, inside the constructor which is there constructor when we import this service we also need to import this service so at the very top inside app.component file we need to import this service which is there inside uh, services folder you can see that services slash pexel photo service and the name of the service is very simple which is pexel photo service and here we just need to pass this service inside our constructor like this this will be private again and let's suppose I give this as a variable pixel service and this is of the type uh, pixel photo service like this and inside the constructor we need to pass these two values which the user has entered and this will be equal to this dot pixel service and it contains a method which is get data you can see that inside the service we are declaring this method get data so now we are accessing this method inside our app.component and now we just need to pass this two entries which is this dot search and this dot per page oh sorry this dot per page like this and now we have passed these two entries inside our constructor so now it is showing the error because we are not expecting these two arguments inside this function so we will be writing here also search and per page like this and also we can just console log the values also so in order to just check console log search and console log per page like this if i refresh the application let's suppose 
So it is just building the application. So you will see that compiled successfully. If I open this application at the address localhost uh, colon four two zero, this is the application. If I open inspect element and open the console here. So if I write anything here and also write here fourteen, click on search here. So it will it will just. Uh, uh it will not work because uh, inside our uh, button here inside this button function we are not calling this method here which is of the service so here we also need to call this which is uh, this dot pixel service and we need to get data and we need to subscribe to this method which is there inside the service subscribe and basically uh, this will return some data and uh, like this so here also it is showing the red box because we are not passing these values here so here also you need to pass the values this dot search and uh, this dot per page like this so now the errors will gone here and uh, now if i refresh the application you will see the values being printed out in the console so now if i refresh the application and type here let's suppose flower and type a number which is 15 click on search so you will see that all these entries are printed out in the console flower and 15 and now we are successfully fetching out the entries which are entered into the input fields inside our service so now we just need to make a simple http call here and pass the headers also so in this video you will also be knowing that how to pass head headers in the request using angular 9 so basically i can just replace here after this query is equal to and then I can use plus concatenate this search value like this and plus again per page I can also manipulate it instead of 15 I can just pass the dynamic value which is coming here inside per page like this and page I can just eliminate the statement I don't want page number so this is our request and now the thing remains we also need to pass the API key which will be there inside the HTTP headers and now in, so in order to declare the http header it is very simple just inside this we can just declare this http or http options variable and this will be equal to a object which will have the headers as a field and this will be equal to new http headers so basically this is the he http headers here you can see that so So now we can just uh, include this HTTP headers also just put a comma here and this is HTTP headers like this and there is a field called as authorization that we need to pass here and followed by the API key. So API key will be there inside your uh, dashboard I have already shown to you previously request access just click this button and you will get your API key your API key will be different so don't copy mine and paste it here like this. And now these HTTP options headers you need to pass inside your uh, URL. So whenever you pass this, pass this as a second parameter uh, HTTP options like this. So basically after the get statement also need this pass this angular brackets and write here any. And for the error handling if any kind of error take place you can also use a pipe operator here like this uh, pipe function pipe and here we can just catch the error also catch error. And here you can just pass your custom function which is this dot handle error. You can just make this function. So catch error is automatically being imported at right here. You can see that catch error is imported from rxjs slash operators. And now we can just uh, make this method here handle error like this handle error. So this is a function and inside this function we can return out the our error here. We can pass the error here like this and here we can just write return throw error throw error and throw error I think that it's automatically being imported you can see that inside observable just write a comma and write throw error from rxjs so just delete this and now we can throw out a simple error here so inside this we can right here error dot message if any kind of error take place 
or we can just write here if no error take place then we can just write server error like this so now the service is complete here here we are just making the http get request to the api and now we need to just print it inside our app.component.html file so here we are just subscribed to, to this method here which is present inside the service so this is the data which is coming here and also in order to get the error just put a comma here and parentheses and the error so if any kind of error take place we can also console log the error like this and now we can just console log the data and now if I refresh the application just to check the application so it is just building it and if I refresh the application and here if I write here in the search field programming as a search query and let me request 15 photographs and click on search so you will see that it will return a JSON response from the API it will contain 15 photographs in a photos array so this this is a photos property which is present inside this JSON response so we only need this uh, so ju just change this st from string to string array because this is an array and here we can just write here data dot we can just equal to this dot for the data we, we can just declare one other field which will be uh, data which will be of type string array so just change this to string so this data will be equal to the data which is coming from the api so this dot data is equal to data dot let me just refresh it once again I forgot the let me once again hit flower and 15 the array name is photos sorry this is photos array so now we can just write here this dot data is equal to data dot photos and now we can just loop through this uh, array inside our app dot component dot html file so just open that file and just after the button we can just write here a on order list tag here and inside this we can run a ng4 directive which is present inside angular 9 so write here ng4 so this will be equal to let flower of you can just give a index variable let data of and the data which we data variable that we have declared here this is data here so here you can just write let d of data and inside this we can have a image tag for displaying the images and the source attribute will be equal to d dot source dot medium so this is a full path to the image here so here we are just inserting dynamic value so double curly brackets so inside this we are printing out d dot source dot medium so hopefully if i refresh the application if i type here any string value let's suppose flower and write here 15 and click on search so basically you will see that it will be printing out these photographs 15 photographs at a time so you can change this value dynamically also so if I now refresh it let's suppose I type books and uh, this time I want 45 here and click on search so you will see that it will print out 45 photographs it will be fetched from the API Pexels API and displayed it inside your angular 9 applications so in this way you can just request dynamic data from the website from any api and display it inside your angular 9 application using the http client that we have saw in this video so thanks very much for watching this video